Hi there, I'm Frontspack, and this is our Let's Play of Tomb Raider. With me are Artif. Hello. Rovos. What's up? And Saucy. Oh, I guess Saucy. Saucy's just not here. <laughs> Fuck it! Off to a good start! <laughs> Great start. Alright. See, I see thought that I'm nuclear gonna... explosion? That's our Let's Play. Yes. <laughs> I thought my push to talk was off. Awesome. Wow. This is already great. You see that hubcap just destroying the fucking earth? That's our comment section. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hey, incredible. Yeah, some, some mysterious shit is going down here. Uh, the hubcap is a jar, and in the jar is that a fan. Oh. I thought it was going to be a mosquito, like in Jurassic Park. <laughs> really? What's a no, I, I have, uh, full disclosure, I've never played a single, uh, Tomb Raider game. Oh really? god, these, these yeah. 90s refraction effects, I love them. They're amazing. Pro lighting. No, Miss Jacqueline well, I mean, this even some modern voice. games don't do any... You know, well, now, you know, when I was a kid, I looked at shit like this, and I was like, oh my god, in the future, this is the games greatest like this? thing I have ever seen. Imagine when we could play games like this in real time. <laughs> Also, you can oh, you can't really sorry. see it here, oh, but those are dollar bills that she just threw like up in the air. Oh, I, I, I was more concerned. I was more concerned on the fact that I could very definitely see where the polys on her model meet each other. And there's this little trinket. My nose is made out of an entire polygon. That's my interest. So yeah, that's that's our MacGuffin for the game right there. Oh, that that dealio. Yeah. Okay. And here we go to the first level cutscene. You know, what what gets me is uh, all, all these videos in, like, the, the first Command and Conquer and the first Red Alert, they were all very interlaced. I don't know why that bugs me so much, but it does. It's, it's just high <laughs> compression from when they had to fit them on, like, yeah. discs. Yeah, on, on a single CD, they just, yeah. they just interlaced. Oh my god, these... Oh! <laughs> He, the guy with the fucking hat back there, his tan just looks so fucking. Oh, that that, yeah, that anyone else real, that? They didn't get a real Peruvian mountain guy to do this. They just like spray painted a regular dude. <laughs> that's that's she definitely a sturdy hold for that hook. She's oh. wearing glasses. Holy shit! Laura's a big huge nerd. <laughs> oh my god, this man's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your fucking pr pocket protector, Laura? This is gonna get. Oh, oh man, these animations. Oh. She's just gonna watch. It's... Oh, no, she's, she's, gonna... she's gonna get down there. She just. She has about. Close the door. Uh -oh. A year and a half Th to fall this down is, here. This is how momentum works. Can you imagine she just watched? Well, that how many screwed. times is she going to shoot without reloading? <laughs> well, if if you saw the first part of the cutscene there, it showed a, a magazine photo of her killing Bigfoot. So Laura just hates <laughs> animals. She, she really does. She fucking loathes nature and all its forms. It's alright. We're using technology to our advantage. Her butt cheeks are made out of spears. She doesn't even like her natural boobs. Aw, oh, shit. Which is why we have these. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and now actual gameplay. <laughs> Backstepping oh, the game. It's like an Ocarina of Time speedrun. <laughs> See some, so, uh... Yeah? Am I the only one that would frantically search? Well, I was nine when this game came out, and I would, when I would see on the internet, like, rumors of nude codes for this game, I'd be like, holy shit, I need to find these right fucking now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember, I remember being in school and all the kids talking about that and everything. Um, you know... There is actually no console nude codes, but the PC releases of the games did receive nude patches called Nude Raider. Until oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 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 It became such a threat to the publicity of the game that I think Eidos actually bought that website out, and now it's just a generic, like, porn search, like, boob Oh, wow. Or something. That's kind of awesome, actually. You know... You go into this, you see, you see those, you see those, those wolves footprints, and you think, oh, well, this is like Metal Gear Solid, I'm gonna walk in the snow, and it's gonna leave footprints, but nope. No, not till Tomb Raider 3. Also, yeah, first enemy of the game, proper, bats. See, I don't know which Tomb Raider game it was, but, uh, I know I was, like, uh, eight or nine years old at the time, 
And uh, I had a guy that lived above me. He was like 19, and all he did was play Tomb Raider and jack off to it. Tomb Raider, wow. absolutely. Because I, I don't know Tomb which Raider. one it had a code for, but I guess he could make her tits bigger or something. And like he told me when I was nine that he would do this. Kid was like 10 years older than me. That, and that's that, that, about that. my extent with Tomb Raider, like how much I've, <laughs> I've played it. What is with Lara's space jump there? Uh, yeah, she lives but... on the moon, obviously. Yeah, well, well you can her, see by the size of her tits. full of helium, which allows yeah. her to float safely oh, she down just, from... She oh, she just I was saying, um... them a little when she jumps, okay. Oh, uh, what I was thinking is they have their own gravitational pull, which pulls her upwards a little bit when she jumps. And what is it you oh, pick I see. up there? It's also possible. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just funny to think that the first enemy you encounter this game are bats, and you put them out with two forty-five cal caliber pistols. Yeah. Like, that just seems like overkill bats. to me. They're, they're they're flying rodents. You could kill them with a BB. <laughs> I want to see a, I want to see a Jackie Chan Adventures well, game on this she, engine. She, <laughs> she's already she's already well proven that she she has no need for ammo conservation because her magazines are literally infinite. On her magazines on her, um, are her tits actually. Oh, yeah, so they're no. si they're uh, they're shaped like infinity signs, would you say? That makes sense. Somebody was going for... to make the MGS3 reference. <laughs> it's Every internal nerds. consistency in, in the Tomb Raider franchise can be explained explained away with Laura's tits. Like her extra ammo, her extra storage. The fact that when she jumps off cliff, she, she instantly them. turns around. Lara yeah. Croft, fun fact, is actually flat chested. What? That's just all storage. Yeah. Oh, I, I see. Took you a second, huh? So, uh... You know, she was insecure when she was hitting puberty, so she used her, her bra as storage and, you know, got her a lot of attention from guys, and she never really stopped. Yeah, it really she just her used her shirt. <laughs> She takes her shirt off, baby, why is your bra shaped like a pile of bullets? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't start a day without stuffing all of her needs. And there, you know, just, you know... So she's a fembot, I guess? You know, her, her, her wallet, yeah. a hairbrush, a baby... <laughs> well, pretty much everything. You know, like you notice, she has a little backpack and and her boobs instead of like a purse. You know, she's she's a '90s woman. She's got to be efficient, right? The wild Lara Croft God. surveys her surroundings. So, as uh, as we watch Franz back play through this, do you think there's any way we can shoehorn the plot of Metal Gear Solid into this to make it canon <laughs> into the series? <laughs> let's let's, let's try. That might be a bit much. Oh yeah, there's uh, yeah. there's our full first uh, first well relatively innocent animal murdered horribly. That is. Oh. I thought you were just shooting. I can no, shoot no, there's a wolf down there. Watch and see, this, this one's gonna wake up. Oh my God! Why would you? It was Rayers. sleeping. It didn't even. Tr it didn't <laughs> even get all even aggro reach on you. From there. Well, you know what? Just in case, right? <laughs> Did you see oh. that lead headshot? <laughs> also, fun fact: I will never actually fall off this bridge into this cave area and actually have to worry about those wolves. So I, I, I killed oh. them for nothing. But you know, Laura just at them, so I figured, well, it must be worth shooting. This this context sensitive auto aim. I can't actually shoehorn Metal Gear Solid into this. Lara Croft is actually Na Naomi Hunter, and this is before she met Frank Yeager. Bam! Oh, done. Well wow. fucking done. Holy shit. <laughs> How long did you spend on that? I thought of it immediately after Lucas said it, but I, I was gonna wait. And how do you how do you explain the fact that she lost all of her athleticism between now and the game? Did Man she ever machines. need to use it in the Metal Gear series? Yeah. Okay, so why doesn't she just shoot Gray Fox? Well, because he, he could block bullets with a sword. Because she didn't have a gun at the time? Oh. And also, oh, Gray a Fox is kind of a badass. There, but oh, I'm so actually merciful, mostly because the auto aim won't lock on. <laughs> How can a bear survive? <laughs> the only way to jump. Holy this is like shit. some unusual Peruvian cave bear. The only that could survive without sustenance? Bear. Well, I think because it like, must suck on him. lichen or something. I don't know. Bears are carnivores! Actually, they're omnivorous. Bears will eat honey and fruits and things. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm stupid. Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking Winnie the Pooh? Holy shit. Welcome <laughs> to childhood. <laughs> and what you're watching, see this awkward jumping around God and everything? Damn. The fact that it only took one hit means I'm relatively good at Tomb Raider. That's just what Tomb Raider combat looks like. Did did you see that? Backstepping through wolf attacks, this game puts two, this game puts Monster Hunter in its place. I, uh, I, I know. Yes. Like, 
Dark front Souls? Spec? What? I don't even know. This no, dude. What Front Spec showed us there was actually a 360 no scope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laura never scopes. She doesn't. She, not even until Tomb Raider 2 does she even properly aim any of her weapons. She just hip fires everything. Or akimbo. And at that point, can you actually miss? Oh, what the fuck? yeah. That, that, if, you, if you hold down why? the lock button while you're climbing up a ledge, it does that. Why? I was gonna mention that this is actually. A fun little thing. The well, Tomb Raider draws a lot of its mechanics from like the 2D tile-based adventure games. You know, like your flashback, Blackthorn, uh, that kind of What's thing. What's this? Right? Oh shit! It's Olmec. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, what are you? Uh, are you a uh, what? Are you a purple parrot? Come on. You're on the green monkey. Now it's, now it's time to assemble the monkey statue. Oh yeah, my I god, those fucking incompetent sons of bitches. I hate the kids on the- Also, I love these plants because they're those, you know, yeah, they, textures they, that are always facing yeah. the camera. If they the actually, camera was above it, those plants would be sideways. There's actually yeah. a technical name for that, Saucy. What? It's called Billboard. Oh. Wow, that makes it's sense. When, it's, when, it's when a sprite on a 3D plane always faces the camera. Well, shit. I learned something So basically, Bubsy look... 3D is what you're telling yeah. me. I mean, this was 1996, though, so an attempt to render, like, polygon plants would have just been, like, yeah, a little green cube. It would have been, like, sub-Minecraft. And it was acceptable because, you know, we, we had just parties like Nintendo putting it in their games that year. Oh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, as I was saying, so Tomb Raider's essentially a 2D adventure game put into 3D. Like, you'll notice everything, instead of being tile-based, everything's on a grid, right? Like, all of Laura's movements can be measured... Grid-wise, like a jump is worth one tile, a uh, running jump's worth two, and if you run, jump, and grab, you can make a jump three tiles long. Dude, you okay. really gotta stop killing these wolves, or else Sniper <laughs> Wolf is just gonna fucking piss all over you. Yeah, no, she's, she's gonna be pretty choked, but you know what? She's, she's too busy boning Otacon. Meryl's yeah. gonna get pissed off. But I mean, she didn't, um, you know, you don't get, like, a Sniper Wolf's napkin or handkerchief or whatever it is. So, you, you, know, you either kill them, or they... You know, chew your ankles off, and you can't adventure. Maybe you should just let Who needs ankles, die. anyways? <laughs> I don't know. I, I find them pretty useful, personally. I just walk on my toes all the time. I'm walking on my tiptoes now, and I'm sitting down. <laughs> Artif is actually the main character of a uh, Black Swan too. <laughs> oh, is that right? He's, yeah, he's been practicing. I've watched for like, the. What, uh, six now? I've read the treatment that they're Something giving like it. It's pretty accurate to his life. At least he's not the main character of that play where Daniel Radcliffe falls in love with a fucking horse. <laughs> I thought that was an advertisement campaign. That's an no, actual it's a, thing. No, it's a play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I it's thought he was like an advertisement for like malt liquor. <laughs> what? <laughs> a cheap ass malt liquor, man. No, no, no. Yeah, they'll just call it butter would be Billy I'd buy it. Williams in a horse. Pour me a couple of fingers of Daniel Radcliffe's cock. You know, it really says a lot about uh, about how powerful those bullets are that they can stop a jumping wolf in place. Well, she, these are forty-five caliber pistols. Like, Saucy, yeah. you, you you fired a forty-five caliber pistol. Tell me what you think about like, dual wielding those. Uh it, it, it yeah, I, let me let me let me let me guess. Y your next words are going to be: it's a quick way to break both of your wrists. It's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, no, so. you can. A quick way to break both of your wrists would be like a 50, and you're holding them like a pussy. Two deagle brand deagle held flying. sideways. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's our first level, the creatively titled Caves. Oh. Next up, this is a more actual Tomb Raider level, with real exploring, backtracking, getting lost, and it's called the City of Vilcabamba. Which is it, actually a real place. Oh shit! Look at that was, dodge. Was it? Yeah. If this is a city, was heck. it? Was it just down the the road from the town appropriately named Caves? Would well, you live in a town named caves. caves? They're the cave oh. caves. One two three Fake Street, Caves, Illinois. <laughs> Population <laughs> seven, and they're all wolves, <laughs> and they're all dead. <laughs> but here's, here's kind of an interesting um, fact that I guess the Tomb Raider development team wasn't aware of. Um, the lost city of Vilcabamba, which is where the Inca retreated to when they're getting whooped by the Spaniards, is basically their Helm's Deep. Uh, the lost city of Vilcabamba is no longer lost. It's actually, was the Spaniards just 
wrecked the shit out of it to the point where there was nothing left to find. It was actually just some rubble out in the jungle, not far from the location of Machu Picchu. And they sort of figured it out in the 70s that, oh hey, this must have been Velcabamba. That's oh, actually... Man, look at that fucking walk. It's actually been right there all this time. It has, no, uh, it's it's been right there. It's not a lost city anymore. That water, look at that. Oh, and oh, oh, man, oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Does not wanting you get in get God near its pool. damn! Front spec just wanted to stare and look at the, look at the the nice water go through its three three graphics of animation and then there was just, a bear. I just want to look at the bear because that's a pretty big bear for a bear that lives in a cave and eats moss. He's pretty fucking huge. Uh, he eats wolves got, too. Probably for, for yeah, a bear actually. that got drop on you. It's a he's actually big farming bear. the wolves. Like he lets them grow enough to mate and then he eats them. Wow, what a He's like bag. the first bear to discover agriculture. Yeah, I killed the world's is... smartest bear. Yeah, he, is... dude, his family tonight. Just think about them. They're waiting right now for him to come home with food. Oh, God, yeah, awful. with food. With, with with a big old picnic basket. Yeah. You've God. by killing this one bear, you have doomed the agriculture of this entire region. Well, I mean, oh my looking God. at the way Laura is just mowing through, like. Hithartu, unknown species of cave-dwelling forest animals. I really don't think she cares about the ecosystem. A white woman committing genocide. Who saw that coming? <laughs> <laughs> so legit, the most experience I have with the uh, the Mayan or the Inca setting, whatever, is uh, the movie The Road to El Dorado, which was a fantastic, uh, you know. Yeah, that is a good movie. movie. Also, I think the road to El Dorado is about the Aztecs. You know what? I don't care. Wow, they all look the same to me. So bad. You're well, I'm about, I'm about to fuck up again. I was uh, about to say that, like, bro. Well, you mean like Aztec. front spec just did? Yeah, yeah. I, I fucked up that jump, but it's... pro jumps, bro. Also, uh, Indiana the... Jones and the Fate of Atlantis totally had some of this stuff going on. Oh, this oh, stuff, man. huh? You're not even gonna try anymore to name it. What this stuff? I mean this... the uh, the aesthetic fucking look of the area. Okay, you see these skulls and all like the we're it Indians had, and we're gonna eat white people. That shit. <laughs> we're gonna eat white people. It had triangular graphics in it. This game rips off. Halo. No, the game was really good looking. I, I'm sure. I, I'm sure Front Specs game. played it. I so, actually have not. I, I never saw it at a VO store. Oh, anything, God, it's so good. The voice yeah. acting. I mean, it's a 90s era fucking LucasArts game. Do the math. Yeah, it's true, yeah. So, question. In the in-between, between the CG and the gameplay, what happened to Lara's glasses? I like how she could just plant um, her fists on a stone. She put and them she inside of her pocket. She's going indoors, and it's dark out. Yeah, for Saucy, what is she holding on to? <laughs> I mean, she let's just be honest plants here. her knuckles against it and yanks on it. And it... Let's be honest here. Laura Croft, if anything, is a practical dresser. She's not going to wear her sunglasses. In so, am I the only one thinking not how she's pulling this, but how does she have the strength to pull a solid stone block of that size? It's actually it's, uh, on it's wheels, inflatable dumbass. technology, you asshole. <laughs> Dude, remember. It's just... Also, remember this room. We will be back here. Or uh, shadow. I'll give you money if you can figure out why we'll be back here. You're assembling monkey statue. Oh yeah, my god, I'd be so happy. No, wait, no. I'm wrong. I forgot. Also, um, a cornerstone of the Tomb Raider franchise is block pulling and pushing, which means we're actually going to have to drag this block all the way back so we can jump up to the next ledge there. Oh, Tomb great. Raider, Tomb Raider is actually just a Zelda side story. I thought you were going to say a cornerstone of the Tomb Raider series is tits. That too, tits and pulling huge blocks and uh, wiping out the endangered species list. Um, it's yeah, much Tomb Raider in a nutshell, right there. So, uh, not to spoil anything, but do we fight giant spiders? That is in Tomb Raider too. Oh, in thank God! That shit's Why terrifying. Why is that so important to you? No, no, it, it's scary. Post processing. That shit is scary, dude. I was hoping you were gonna do this, so. So does she just yeah, no, stop? I, no one does she back just that stop shit up? Pulling after a yeah. while, and you have to start again. Yeah, her animation resets. The la the later games fix that, where she has one continuous pulling or pushing animation, which is less annoying. But for the first game, they didn't do that. They also the first game the controls are a little, they're like a little less forgiving because you have to sort of like like to do a run and jump, you have to run one whole square and then jump. 
and you have yeah, to kind of work that. with the animation. And you and you have to estimate what a square is. Oh, I hate. Well, the square is pretty obvious. It's like yeah. the whole level's on your head. Also, just looking at our inventory here, we got a compass that you'll never use. Uh, all right. Half, small medi pack gives you half your health. A full medi pack gives you all your health. And our starting guns, which are impractically huge. Also, these are just the settings. There's our sunglasses, by the way. They're this game so wait, wait. off Hitman because it has the rotating inventory thing. This game oh, this yeah, was also an Eidos game. Yeah, well, uh, Hitman rips oh, yeah. off Secret of Mana for the same reason. <laughs> I, I was bullshitting, but hey, there you go. The same publisher, actually, and I think there were demos for Hitman in one of the Tomb Raider games or vice versa. God, I miss demo discs. Demo yeah, discs so do I, dude. I remember the last one of those. They would always have a fucking hidden, uh, like a hidden game or a hidden video. Yeah. 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 And Especially like if you, you found like that shit, you go to school. Games. You know, you go up to your friend, he had his fucking his Reeboks on that lit up when he took a step, and you wanted that shit. <laughs> and like you'd be like, bro, I just found the Twisted Metal Three video. That's my story. <laughs> well, that, that's 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 growing up in the '90s, right there. I think we can all accept maybe Artif. Uh, to that. Wow! Thank Ardiff. you. Ardiff. <laughs> I honestly, I don't remember like He's how old do you remember the he? '90s? Because you're, uh, you're a couple years younger. Than I do. I do very much remember demo discs. I remember uh, we going to one of my friends' houses and we we saw the um we saw we had the PlayStation demo disc with the uh, the Final Fantasy VIII demo and it had uh, a bunch of content that was really weird for its place in the actual game. Yeah, they, like uh, they it, had it, Riona it, on disc yeah, one yeah, during. And, in, Art in if and I can Dullet, fucking had, wax poetic yeah. about Final Fantasy yeah, like a not motherfucker. Only, not only did they have Renoa and Dalit, they also had Leviathan. But unfortunately, that, that oh. disc uh, eventually got uh, totaled. So we used it as a frisbee until it shattered in half. <laughs> I'd just like to draw your attention, if you remember a couple minutes ago, did you notice that wolf's death uh, pose? Like, right on his Like, the no. wolf's death pose there with their legs sticking up in the air. Oh, it's uh, all just now. Yeah, that's... I don't know, it's just like... I'm just trying to imagine the animators, and it's like, okay, what does a dead wolf look like? Uh, I don't know. I know what my dog... Kind of like a dog looks dead. like when, you want, when it wants you to scratch his tummy, <laughs> What I they guess. did to uh, to figure out what their model looked like is the lead animator, he had a copy of the game Pass the Pigs with him, and he just rolled one of them. <laughs> well, you gotta be fair. You gotta understand, this, is, this was in the days when the internet was still budding, and I come to this conclusion about a lot of things... People didn't have all that information easily accessible at their fingertips, so there was a lot of guesswork involved. This is back yeah. in the days when the entire in internet was divided into sections, if AOL is to be believed. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. So Let me just you click on didn't kids. hang out on Kids Corner? <laughs> Play also, some Nickelodeon my, games, dude? One of my favorite things about Tomb Raider is... I don't know if you guys noticed it there earlier. When you go to use an item where it doesn't belong, Laura just gives you this like rude little no. Like, <laughs> like you're just like an idiot for even trying. Like no, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's that's so clearly the wrong answer. It's like I remember when I was a kid, I was always terrified of underwater sections because the the, the breath gauge was a thing, and I, there was a timer. What if I don't make fuck, it? In time? Fuck! 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 Yeah, but no, I, I I totally the same. I, I still kind of dislike swimming sections. Especially because the swimming in Tomb Raider is really hanky. Like, you get caught up on yeah, uh, not to mention really easily. That not section in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 where you have oh, to fucking do it underwater escort. <laughs> Was that necessary side flipping after pulling that lever? <laughs> yeah! Well, you get used to controlling Laura after. Like, I'm, like, this is the part where, like, my memories of playing Tomb Raider start coming back. That said, there are, like, there's moves you, can, you can't do in the original game that you could do in the later games. Like, um, you have a tumble button that lets you roll. You've seen me use it um, in this game. But the later games let you use it underwater, and they let you use it while doing your other jumps. Like, you can do a backflip and then land facing the other direction. Hmm. So, we're getting, we're getting close to the part here where I couldn't remember what to do because I'd missed something, so I started accidentally uncovering a couple of secrets in the game. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say, um, how long actually has it been since you last played this? Um, the original Tomb Raider, well, I, we used to play it as a family, so I'd play it a bit, but I'd, I'd mostly, like, we'd gather around and watch my dad play. Huh. As, like, a family thing. Um, but the original Tomb Raider I haven't really touched in probably about 11 or 12 years. What's uh, your and, experience and, and with, still, uh, still with the series? Um... My experience with the series is 
Well, it was, it was a family thing. We'd gather around, because my dad didn't have patience for a lot of games, because you know, he had, like, father things to do, but he always enjoyed Tomb Raider because it was so exploration-heavy, so it kind of engaged him at that level. Mm -hmm. So we'd all my, get uh... around and watch my dad play Tomb Raider, because either, you know, my mom and little sister didn't have the skill level to play, and honestly, at that age, the Tomb Raider game scared the shit out of me. The skill level, huh? You, you, you weren't able to animation cancel and do perfect combos, and <laughs> you weren't aware of frame data? <laughs> No, I said my I said my mom and little sister. Actually, I assumed my dad could play better than I could because he was my dad, and that day I was like, "Oh, my dad's better at me and everything." But in retrospect, actually, I was way better at Tomb Raider than he was. I just got scared. We we, we we all know it was because you you didn't know just how much priority Lara Croft's low mid kick had. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Really? <laughs> When I was yeah, when I was a kid, I would always assume my dad was better than me at everything. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, this is this is where I did a bunch of backtracking. So it's like, well, I've this is this is part of the true Tomb Raider experience. Is why I left it in at all. It's when you've done everything you can think of, but you still can't progress, and you have to re-explore the whole level looking for the one insignificant little five pixel wide item you missed. Or see, um, I'm bad at video oh, games in general, so in that's my experience with every game. <laughs> Missing but, really odd hints, things like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, just really obvious things that I thought I did, but apparently I didn't, so I spent like four hours trying to find it. Call of Duty is made for people like you. <laughs> no, dude, I, I fuck up the Jesus. Shows. It's like, but, shit, uh, I've been going forward for so long, maybe I should turn around and go backwards. You turn around and go backwards, it's just your fucking CEO standing behind you. No! <laughs> Eventually they're just gonna get rid of... Anything but forward movement in Call of Duty. It's gonna be a rail Ramirez, shooter. Ramirez, keep going forward. I think Call of Duty would this probably room? be better as a rail Check shooter. Check this out. Yeah, I'd be willing to put up with that as long as, you know, Time Crisis made a comeback. Alright. Oh, you ever play, oh my um... god, front's back. You went through the whole level. And you wow. Missed. Yeah, and then I just cut over here. But I left that in because that's Tomb Raider. That is the Tomb Raider experience in a fucking nutshell. You must you must have wasted what like five minutes there. Oh, closer to ten. But I did find all those secrets. You're also getting shot. You know, I call this a wolf ambush, but I just noticed in the video that they're like getting up from a nap. So. Yeah, you're a dick. Wolves just pick shitty place. Like, must be honest, such a shitty place to sleep though. They don't yeah, they deserve to live. They're not good enough to kill Lara Croft. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, let, let's that seems reasonable to me. It's a horrible place to sleep. It's not a sleep number bed. <laughs> I can imagine Fucking a sleep Canadians number commercial with Raider. wolves. <laughs> yeah, I'm an eight. And then that fell flat. Yeah. So, was, uh... I'm sorry. Did Ido own one studio? I can't remember. Uh, Ido was a publisher. Um, they got bought out by Square Enix a couple years ago. Yeah, I, I know um, they got but... out, but... Yeah, uh... Core was the developer behind the f original Tomb Raider games. Okay. Uh, the series is now handled by Crystal Dynamics because Core put out Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness in 2002 and it was unbelievably, incomprehensibly shitty and totally unfair. Oh, wow. So, who, uh... Oh, hey, Crystal Dynamics is also a subsidiary of Squeenix, alright. Well, yeah, because Squeenix bought all of Eidos' developers, right? So, I wonder if, um... Is, is the new one actually going to be good? Uh, yeah, the, well, I, I don't know if it'll be good, but the new Tomb Raider will be branded Square Enix, for what it's worth. Yeah, so... The, so uh, the latest Tomb Raider, wasn't it, um, didn't they make it so you could co-op the entire game? That was, that was like a side story, top-down shooter Yeah, that's, thing. It uh... It wasn't like a, a full Tomb Raider game. Oh, okay. As long it was as like it's an better... Xbox Live. It was the Cradle oh, wow. of something? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the Cradle of... Well, no, <laughs> the Cradle, cradle of... Life was the second movie. I'm, I'm pulling up my Steam list, because I own that shit. I really yeah, I have it in my on. gift area on Steam for trading purposes. Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light, bro, folks. Yeah. Holy hell. <laughs> well, Cradle of Life was one of the movies, so... Fair. As long as the new one is better than the one Saucy was streaming the other day, but somehow I have a feeling that won't be the case from what I've seen. Oh. So just gotta well, run into the wall there, the huh? The Crystal Dynamics <laughs> Tomb Raiders. Like, Twice. they're not okay. amazing, but they're, they're alright. They're, 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 they're reasonably entertaining. And this, Can you this shoot bag, that rat? That that bat fucked me up about as hard as the that bat that killed me up in this game. when I first played the game. How when you'd fire, she'd make that angry face. Yeah, I, I know. Like holy shit, technology. It's like in Doom, except it's on your face. 
I know I'm probably the only one that feels this, but I like uh, Wolfenstein more than Doom. I've never played Wolfenstein. Really? This is one of my yeah. first games, so I'm kind of biased. Yeah, it's a nostalgia thing. I had a, uh, cause this was, I had it on fucking DOS, and I played it with a flight stick, cause I thought it was more realistic. <laughs> what? Wow! Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> really, I never told you guys that. Yeah, Arno, I used to play. You... I used to play Wolfenstein on DOS with a fucking Windows flight stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Art of stop! I'm dying. <laughs> it's like I'm really piloting an airplane well, that's actually I, a soldier can, in a castle. I, I, I can kind of see what he means. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's in first person and your character is holding a gun dead center in the screen. And you pull trigger right, but that's so stupid. Oh man, now I gotta check my flaps. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I just have this image of, like, the guy from Wolfenstein with his arms out to either side going... <laughs> through the just corridor. running around the fucking... Killing <laughs> Nazis. Running, and shooting running by dogs. Nazis. Making, like, little machine gun sounds with his mouth. Some, somebody just... <laughs> running into walls over and over trying somebody to find just hidden pulls, areas. pulls his gun out, points out the guy, and yells, Octoon, and he just keeps running. <laughs> flapping his arms. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Um, anyways, Tomb Raider. My face hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just sharing it's a memory from when I was... Life stick, Art <laughs> just loses his shit. Dude, that I was... was like four years old, okay? I'm surprised you didn't, Saucy. That was I lost gold. my shit at you losing your shit, and now look what you did, Franz Wow. I have really? that on well, people. In, in, oh. I thought that the game prevented you from walking on to those crumbly fall apart ledges because walking is how you keep yourself from going off a ledge in this game. Oh, there you go. But um it doesn't, so I had to sort of hop back like, oh shit. But that's how, like how... to make sure you you do a long jump correctly and get your full sort of squares of running movement. The best thing to do is walk up to an edge, hit backwards to do the hop back, and then do your sort of run forward and jump, but it's easier in the later games, are a bit more forgiving, but the timing for jumping in the original Tomb Raider is admittedly a little tricky because you have to. Yeah, you can, like, jumping forward isn't like jumping forward, it's like jump and then hit forward as she's partway through her jumping animation and that kind of thing. So, how difficult. So, it was more like, um, out of this world. Yeah, again, it's it's modeled really heavily. Oh, oh, you mean like uh, 2D 2D like Heart of Darkness, two D platform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince, yeah. Of Persia, yeah. Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia, yeah. Prince of Persia, yeah. Prince of Persia was a huge influence on this. Like game. rotoscoping yeah. games. Yeah. So, Tomb Raider has, yeah, like, has the same like elaborate animations that you have to work with in order to control. So it it it, it is like just a really like just yeah. three D. You you, you really have to learn the the intricacies of every animation and what needs to be done exactly where. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And as much as it makes the game kind of hard to control at times, I do kind of miss some of the attention to detail. Like, you've got some, for the time, really... Ela like, these environments are really elaborate. They go up and down and left and right and all over the place and loop in on each other. Laura's animations are really detailed. Like, when you run into a wall, she sticks her hands out in front of her when she smacks face first into something. I would... Is there any, um, like, uh... This style graphics, like, you know, PS1 era at 64, um, like Metroidvania games that are done like this? Um, well, probably, yeah. um, that's you know, Tomb Raider is probably the most notable of those. Yeah, I was thinking, well, I mean, like, you know what I mean, one entire big area that you get access through, through, uh, different items. There were, yeah. there were a lot of, a lot of 3D games, third-person 3D games, oh. that modeled themselves to some that extent open after how Tomb Raider worked. Uh, I can't remember all of them offhand, because a lot of them has sort of been, you know, forgotten. Like, I mean, there was that Indiana Jones game, it was probably similar. I know oh, um, there was the, a couple of the Inferno Duke Machine? Games. Is that it? Maybe. I, um, I think that's oh, it. I have it on it's PC. just a goddamn bear. Yeah, see, you know. this, is, this is one of those things where back in the day, developers would just be like, well, guess it sucks to be you, you have to take a bunch of hits from despair in order to climb out of the pool, because that's the way the game works. Wow, you almost fucking die there. Add difficulty. Let's try a bear. 
But well, there's, he, there was a time in games when you were just it was just assumed that some shit would fuck you up and it wasn't fair and you had to deal with it. Like, yeah, yeah, but now people are like, the bear encounter was too hard. I shouldn't have had to take damage. The bear team. needs to be patched. Needs oh, to be you're, nerfed. Just, you're just <laughs> you're just entitled. You, you, you know what? You know what? You know what? This style of gameplay does kind of remind me of from the PS1 era. What? The, the kind of control friggin' Mega Man Legends. Oh man. I Mega Man Legends was so good. Have you guys played Mega Man Legends? I, I have it. not. I I did. I've it. watched um watched you Lilia play Mega Man Legends, which is basically like me playing it, except way better. Except but he's no, probably he actually like, good um, at the game. No, he's, back, it's, he it's just a grinds. really good game. I would I would recommend looking into it. It's 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 a real love or hate game, but most people tend to fall into the uh, former category than the latter. Uh, it's it's what happens when you take Mega Man, put him in the third dimension, and make make the game more story based with RPG style upgrades, things like that. It's really okay. neat. It's, I think uh, I remember it, seeing it, someone play it when I was a kid. Yeah, but yeah, we're rapidly approaching the uh, end here. I, I was uh, with me smacking into walls and things. I thought there might be like a secret area over with all those platforms on the other side, but I couldn't figure out a way to get over to them. This is my attempt: bonk your head on the ceiling and land in the. Water. <laughs> so uh, you hit no, your head on the was... ceiling and collapse into a yeah. pool of water and survive. I was surprised was she didn't amazing. get murdered by cracking her head on the side of that fucking pool. Well, Laura's <laughs> tough, man. Eh? She's a. Uh... You that's actually not skull. hair. That's a helmet. It just yeah. looks like hair because of this. Uh, these graphics. In the oh, later games, they actually do bo bother to model her ponytail and give it physics and everything. Hmm. But in this game, I guess they couldn't figure it out, so they just kind of lofted it off and were just hoped people thought it was tucked behind her backpack. Anyways, so that's uh, our first episode of Tomb Raider here. I mean, I, I imagine things are probably going to be a little rough in the final production, but I hope that was reasonably entertaining for everyone watching. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Frontspack. I'm Brofos. That's Aussie King, and I'm. <laughs> I was waiting for everybody else. <laughs> so then you could get up and leave. All right, and yeah, I hope yeah. you'll uh, join us all or whoever else I've got guesting with me here again for Let's Play Tomb Raider.